managers are facing trials that the most popular books on teamwork just simply don't address. They have remote employees, temporary or gig employees, and increased speed of change. This is where our research comes in. We have surveyed more than 850,000 people to understand modern team performance. For instance, while autonomy is one of the strongest motivators for Gen X, it actually ranks near the bottom for millennials. The bottom line, any leader can make use of these disciplines to build stronger, more agile teams. Annual I Love You Banquet. <laughs> Could you commit to that once a year? If this great boss asked you to take on an extra assignment or take on an extra shift, would you have done it for it? Definitely. Definitely. Is there days going in where I would just take my hand off the steering column of this old Norton motorcycle and say, yes, I get to go into work today. That's how exciting he was. That's culture. So there's an old Aesop fable that says it's better to lead with a carrot than it is with what? Stick, exactly right, nicely done. Today, with this current economic climate, everybody is wondering how you get more with less. How do you get more out of your people if you, uh, there's not a lot of raises to go around. So we actually get busier in these times. The great organizations recognize their people and move themselves forward by setting very clear goals and recognizing people when they achieve those goals. It sounds simple, but rare is the organization that actually does that. Okay. Oh, nicely done. As we're trying to attract people to come work here, as we're trying to retain people and get them motivated, we're gonna talk a little bit about that idea, about recognition, about rewarding our people. We're also gonna talk about motivating our people, what it is individually that motivates them. Obviously impact, we're gonna talk a lot about impact and mission. The point is this, great teams root for each other. It's the first off the idea of Kaizen, you've got to challenge the status quo, but everybody has to feel safe to speak up and challenge that status quo. So one of the organizations we saw this work with recently is called Bell Helicopter, 80 year old, Bell Helicopter. Mitch Schneider took over in 2015, started with the company as a junior engineer and had 15,000 employees. So over 80 years, they saw their market share again slowly going down. So they created an innovations team that would work cross-functionally with all of our different departments. And he says, at first, it did not go well. He says, so I realized we gotta change things up. He says, I brought my group together. He says, guys, we gotta create a safe place. He says, first off, anyone on our team can ask questions or make suggestions without fear of looking stupid. There's no dumb idea. In fact, one of the things he said is that we have to use a piece of every idea. That would be really difficult. He says, the second thing is we're going to be respectfully challenging each other without ever acting negative. Uh, anyone can suggest an innovative idea without being perceived as disruptive. He says, and the debates start. And he says, eventually, they started listening. They started kind of challenging that status quo. And he says, I was in a meeting once. And, and the engineer heard the idea. Instead of saying, nope, won't fly, he said, you know what, that just might work. And he says, I felt like that was the tipping point. This was the first innovation that came out of the team. Uh, he says, we have more orders for this. We are gonna be building plants around the world. And this is just the first innovation that came out of this team. It's called the FCX 001. Why? Because we weren't afraid to finally to challenge the status quo and push ourselves. And so now they're growing again. You know, very simple things. You've got to find them. Find ways for people to feel that they are able to speak up. Answers we seek are really simple as, as you begin this process of finding who you are as a company. Where are we going? And finally, how are we going to get there? You answer those questions for me, and I'm going to be engaged. I see that, Bertha. Today. I'm going to tell you about some of the organizations we've had a chance to work with over the last 20 years as we've been studying, studying and researching this idea of culture. The Harvard Business Review, the Wall Street Journal, Fortune Magazine have given some real nice credence to our work over the years now. They've said, look, this is no longer the soft side of business. Is there potential locked within your workforce or within yourself? What we've learned about employee engagement will change the way you do business. And we're going to have some fun doing it. Thank you everybody for your time. Appreciate it.